Hello guys, this is Spicy and this is a sponsored video. So this is an unboxing of the uh, Hot Toys Black Widow from uh, Marvel's Avenger Infinity War. And this is a 1-6 scale collectible figures. 1-6 uh, scale collectible figure, MMS 460. And this figure retails for around 250 US dollars. And, uh, yeah, we got a very nice packaging here. On the back, we have the back of the box with all the information. And we have the side of the box. Uh, we got the uh, Infinity Gauntlet uh, print. And it says Black Widow. Okay, so uh, obviously, uh, these are adult collectible figures. Uh, small parts, not for children under three years old. And uh, though collectible, not a toy, recommended for ages 15 and up. So just be careful of that. We have uh, warning labels in multiple language. Uh, we have Chinese, we have Japanese, and we have English. And this product is made in Hong Kong, or de designed in Hong Kong, but made in China. And uh, they also have a website here with hottoys.com.hk and hottoys.jp. Uh, all right, so these, uh, this product is marketed toward the Asian market, uh, both uh, Chinese and the Japanese market as well, and also the North American uh, market. So we got the uh, Black Widow print uh, right there, very nice. Uh, the artwork is pretty nice. I actually seen the, this artwork everywhere. I seen it on Marvel Legends, I seen it on SH Figure Arts, and now I see it on uh, Hot Toys. So. All right, and uh, this video is sponsored by uh, one of my fellow YouTubers who recently have his channel deleted by YouTube due to inappropriate content or term uh, violation of TOS. I, I was actually in the same boat. I actually had a separate channel which I review uh, one six scale toys and uh, they all got uh, terminated. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some of these uh, uh, adult collectible toys have certain parts that you would just not want to like, you know, market that toward children. Uh, I won't speak about that anymore. I think hot toys are relatively safe in that regard. So, yeah. So I think reviewing hot toys are actually uh, okay. Uh, it is recommended for ages 15 and up, but uh, since it's like a Marvel property. I don't think they're gonna go like kind of overboard with like the anatomy and everything. So <laughs> I, I think it's safe. Uh, I haven't seen anybody get in trouble for reviewing these on YouTube yet. So anyway, here are the people who are uh, involved in the creation of this particular figure. Now there is some complaints about this figure about uh, you know the uh, scope work, uh, but we will get to that in the review if I'm even qualified to do these reviews. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Got this, uh, cut this thing open right there. There we go. Also, uh, this is actually not my first Hot Toy unboxing. I actually own a few Hot Toys figure myself. Uh, I just never filmed them on this channel. Uh, I featured them on my other channel that got uh, terminated. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so there we go. That's the box. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty okay so far. Uh, I think they actually went cheaper on these uh, new style packaging. I have uh, some older Hot Toys figure who have uh, somewhat better packaging. I think the actual retail price for this figure might actually be only around like, uh, you know, 230 234 something like that. While the, uh, oh, uh, the you know, the uh, previous figures were at least uh, 250 to 300 So maybe the, they're trying to save money on cost. So here we have the, uh, uh, the packaging. We got the clamshell that covers the figure. And then we got the instruction manual. Now the thing with Hot Toy figures is like you always want to read the instruction manual. So do not skimp out on that. So basically uh, if you don't follow the instruction that's set on the instruction manual and somehow you damage your figure, well that's your problem. So make sure you, uh, make sure you read and know what's going on with these figures.
because uh, this is three hundred dollars. Some parts are actually kind of fragile, uh, but you know, I guess uh, this, these are marketed to our adults, so they would assume you know adults would be a little bit more careful with their uh, three hundred dollar figure. But some people uh, treat their three hundred dollar uh, figures like they treat like twenty dollar Marvel Legends. So. <laughs> Okay, so here we have some of the gimmicks. Obviously, you can take a stun batons and attach to her backpack. Uh, we got uh, what is oh the taser guns, yeah. And then uh, we have ooh that looks very nicely detailed. And we I guess obviously we got multiple uh, hand options. And yeah, okay, so be very careful. Number one, a. Uh, the outfit is not detachable. Do not try to take it off. Otherwise, it may get damaged. Aha. Uh -huh. Number two. Do not excessively bend the arms and legs or bend them outward. Otherwise, the figure will be damaged. C. Do not expose the figure to direct sunlight for extended amount of time. Otherwise, the figure may get damaged. D. Do not wipe the body with thinner benzene alcohol and or any corrosive material which could damage the body so okay that being said here those are all the cautions if you if you don't want to destroy your three two hundred three hundred dollar figure uh feel free to do any of that <laughs> now i do have a few hot toys figures that i actually never unbox so i guess i will uh, I guess eventually I will do them for this channel. I was just not, a, I was uh, kind of concerned about showing uh, these type of products on this channel uh, because, uh, yeah, uh, I'm down to one last channel. If this thing, <laughs> this channel gets deleted, <laughs> uh, whatever left of my, uh, whatever left of my YouTube career is finished. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these hand options real quick. All right, let me uh, set the camera down a little bit so we can take a look at these hand options. So uh, we got these, uh, ooh, we got two styles of trigger fingers, I guess. One of them is definitely for the uh, for her to hold the baton, the stun baton, and then the other one is for the uh, stunt gun. And then we got a closed fist, very nice. And then, uh, what the heck is this? I don't know what that is. Uh, we got extra pegs for the hand in case you break them. Uh, yes, believe it or not, they are known to break. So, yeah, uh, I guess they were just trying to cover all their. Uh... Okay, and then uh, obviously we got her stun baton, stun gun right here. Ah, this is how the thing's supposed to look like. That's actually really nice. I got the uh, Marvel Le Legends uh, Black Widow and I was looking at that weapon and it just looks like a piece of plastic. But now that I've seen the Hot Toys version, I can see the stun prongs right here. That's very nicely detailed. Unfortunately, uh, I did not get to borrow my friend's uh, SH figure version of Black Widow, so I don't know how well Bandai did their, uh, uh, th their weapons in that scale. but. I I expect it to be like a maybe like a scaled down version of this thing, maybe a little bit less detail, and then we also got the uh, handle for the stun baton. Okay, that's pretty cool. Man, I uh, I asked my friend for any other property besides Marvel, and all he has is Star Wars and Marvel stuff. Uh, nobody has any any of the Resident Evil stuff. I think one of my friend has like GI Joe. I do actually own a few of uh, Hot Toys G.I. Joe figures, which I never open, but <laughs> I might unbox those and uh, see uh, what they're really about. Okay, so, wow, okay, it's, uh, it's very interesting. She just slides right out there like that. Got some protective packaging here, and we also got a stand. So, take a look at the stand real quick. Set her right here. I got this uh, Avengers Infinity War stand. I don't think this have any other gimmick other than uh, just the print. So that actually looks really nice. Unfortunately, I don't really care about Marvel, so whatever. 
We also have uh, this adjustable stand. Pretty cool. I think the Hot Toys might actually uh, source these stands from another company. Yeah, I think that's how they do it. <laughs> because I think like aftermarket stands that look exactly like some of these Hot Toys stands. So, I'm actually gonna borrow uh, a stand from my, my friend Sub-Zero here. Let's go ahead and get Sub-Zero standing to the side right here. And I'm gonna use this stand. Yeah, these are like, these stands are like, I guess like Hot Toy must have sourced uh, these stands from like a company that just, you know, make a lot of uh, stands for 1-6 scale figures because uh, on the older figures, uh, these are very, uh, very common. And apparently you can buy these stands for like 5 bucks on eBay or something. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we got this figure right there. She can just stand right there like that. Obviously, let's get this thing off her head and take a look at the face scope. A lot of complaints about this face scope. They said uh, it doesn't look anything like her. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Does it look like her? I don't know. Not really a fan, but yeah, uh, I, th I think there's some discrepancies right there. Don't quite look exactly like her. I also noticed uh, there's a skin tone color difference. You can see uh, her head is like more tan and the body is like lighter. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, that's interesting. T that's interesting to see. Okay, and uh, she also have two uh, open hands right there. Uh, these rooted hairs are a little weird, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, Okay, but anyway, overall it's a pretty nice figure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stun batons right here. Oh wow, these are actually very nicely done, holy crap. That is nice. <laughs> Damn, okay. That, that is really nice. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm speechless. This is actually very nicely done. Okay, so um, I will uh, take a look at this some more and uh, let you guys know what I think about it in the review. So, anyway. Uh, this is not my first Hot Toy figure, but it will be my first uh, Hot Toy figure review because uh, I usually don't open them. To review for any purpose other than uh, I mostly buy these for resale purposes you know because sometimes uh, they can sell for a lot more money than uh, but lately it seems like Hot Toy might have hit a snack with their uh, Star Wars licenses and stuff like that because uh, I guess those movies aren't actually doing very well these days and yeah okay so you can stick the uh, stun baton right here on her shoulders uh, on the on her back via this thing right here okay looks pretty cool and then I guess you can stick this uh, these stun guns into her uh, holsters actually held in there very well unlike uh, some other stuff but yeah pretty nice looking figure uh, definitely looking forward to reviewing this soon and uh, yeah, stay tuned for reviews for the uh, Hot Toys uh, Marvel's Avenger Infinity War Black Widow figure. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.